And of course, okay. I, we're not seeing some huge because what no. you see in the what you see in the splits of the exit polling in the primaries, you're seeing this massive generational split between Sanders and Hillary Clinton. Right. I wondered if that, that's not reflected. But in if those you look, for instance, at the Harvard polling, which specifically looks at that sort of yeah, young voters, over. they go overwhelmingly for Hillary Clinton. They may prefer Bernie Sanders to Hillary Clinton, but that's more of a statement on Sanders than it is a statement on. Oh, Hillary so you're, Clinton. you're saying in general, they right? Just, exactly. Right. Our new NBC News called for there to be calm before that convention even happened. Uh, he has said afterwards that he does not in any way condone any kind of violence. Having said that, they also say that they understand what has motivated the frustration, what they call high levels of frustration. Chris, I spent the last hour on the phone with two of Bernie Sanders' biggest supporters. One, his campaign manager, Jeff Weaver, uh, who told me, quote, they ran roughshod over him, meaning Bernie Sanders, with the way the rules played out at that convention in Nevada. And he said that any suggestion that there was violence that was condoned by the Sanders campaign, and I'm quoting Jeff Sanders here, they want to use this as a pretext for mistreating us at the national convention. You can see that the level of frustration, the level of tension between the Sanders campaign, uh, Clinton supporters, Harry Reid, Debbie Wasserman Schultz is only escalating over this. And then he said, where is the fairness? The chairwoman and the standing committees in Nevada were all pro-Clinton. After I talked to him and the conversation continued along those lines, they really feel as though they were mistreated there, as though as he said to me on Sunday night after all this happened, that the finger was on the scale for Hillary Clinton by the head of the Democratic Party in Nevada. I called former Ohio State Senator Nina Turner. She's been a, a vocal supporter of, uh, of Senator Sanders. She was there. She was there for eight hours. She told me she was there from 10 to 6. She believes, again, that this is a pretext by the Hillary Clinton campaign that they're trying to present. Sanders supporters as somehow being rabble rousers, as being violent, when in fact she said all they're asking for is fairness, that there was no fairness, there weren't even enough chairs, that at one point she claims they threatened to arrest uh, the um, one of the people who, who came there representing Bernie Sanders because she didn't have the proper credentials. This is not something that is going to be settled uh, quickly or quietly, Chris, judging by my conversations with the Sanders side. Again, I want to reiterate, everyone I've spoken to, from Ted Devine to, to, to Jeff Weaver, both senior officials with the campaign, to Nina Turner, uh, one of his most visible supporters, absolutely denouncing violence. But when I asked Nina Turner, does she think this is something with implications for the Democratic National uh, Convention, she said yes, Chris.